During this short video, I'm going to show the physiological monitor integration in Earworks 9.2 by using the ICU view mode in acquisition with Persist. Since it's not a real clinical case, I am going to run an acquisition with open channels, so with no clinical significance. In order to enable the ICU view mode in acquisition with Persist, go to Tools, Options, and select the Use ICU Touchscreen mode, making sure that the Use Persist ICU Continuous Monitoring option is selected. Once the ICU view mode with Persist is selected, click on OK and go back to the database. In order to run a new acquisition, click on New EG and then enter last name and first name in the study information box. The acquisition screen in ICU mode opens and shows the default EEG montage and the node toolbar on the right side, which can be customized with specific nodes and more suitable for ICU applications. Looking at the left side of the acquisition screen, we can see the ICU workflow toolbar, where the main commands are displayed. The ICU mode view is composed by three different panels. The light panel, which is the current one and shows the EEG waveforms. The review panel, which shows the EEG waveforms and the physiological monitor trends. And the trends panel, which shows the physiological monitor trends only. Clicking on trends, the panel changes and shows the physiological monitor trends in the persist view. This panel shows default parameters for demonstration purposes, but it can be easily customized showing more physiological parameters according to the physiological monitor device connected to the ICU system, but this is not the aim of this video. In this example, the system displays the trends of some physiological parameters such as saturation, heart rate, respiratory rate, temperature, diastolic, systolic and the mean of blood pressure, intracranial pressure, cerebral perfusion pressure, which are gathered by the physiological monitor device, and some of the EEG trends which are available and come with the Persist trending package. Clicking on the review button, the system shows the review panel where the EG waveforms and the physiological monitor trends are displayed together in the same view. From within this panel, we are able to review the EG and look back at the recorded EG, which is synchronized with the trends on the right. Clicking on Live, we go back to the EEG waveforms view. For the sake of simplicity, I recorded EEG for several hours and then I resumed the recording of this video in order to show the results of the trends calculations. Clicking on Trends, the system shows the results after almost two hours monitoring. We can also change the time interval by clicking on Trends Scale and select a different value, for example, 6 hours, to squeeze the view, and then go back to the previous view displaying the trends with the time interval of 2 hours. By double-clicking on Point of Interest in the Trends panel, the system automatically opens the review panel showing the corresponding EEG page and the same point of interest in the trends view. Now we can start reviewing the EG and change the time base even from within the persist view. Click on duration 
and select six hours from the menu. We can also move over on the trends in the persist view and select different points of interest and the EEG pages change accordingly. Then we can click again on duration and select two hours to restore the default trends scale. Once the monitoring has been completed, click on file and then exit in order to end and save the study and go back to the database.